Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this gatefold slider card. So this is using supplies from my latest Super Sliders collection. So on the front here I've got the handbags and shoes, stamps and dies. Really nice images and I've coloured them in using my coloured pencils. And then you just slide the belly band, you open it up and you have this here and then you have your pull and you just pull it up and then it will reveal your Happy birthday shopaholic sentiment and again you can see all those lovely little stamped images that I've used and this is using the 6x6 square slider so I haven't shown this one yet I've shown the samples that I've used I've shown the circle one and I've shown the 5x7 rectangle and I'll link here if I haven't already or I don't say it through the video um, the other ones so you can take a look at them and also at the end I'll pop some um, other videos as well that you might like using these dies um, you can also put a gift card on here if you want and you've got room to stamp more you know um, messages hidden you know little birthday wishes anything like that and then you've got room here if you want to go higher as well but I always like to sit mine about halfway you can see how it looks on the side there so it can be displayed like so with the belly band or if they want they can close it and they can display it like this again you can just pop the belly band there and it still looks really nice you've got room on the back to be able to write your message and I've just put the XOXO which is one of the dies along with the stars and the glasses that all comes with this 6x6 square die set and then it all sits nicely in its belly band and I've also using exactly the same stamps I've just made this one here which is a craft world exclusive tutorial and this is this pop-up box card. So it's just showing you another way to use those stamps. And then again on the back, you've got room there to write your message. These all fold flat and they fit into a six by six envelope. And uh, again, lots of fun, very colorful, which is very much my style, but you can obviously color these with whatever you want. And um, you don't have to use as bright colors as me, I guess, but I do think they look really good like that. So I will link how you can see the tutorial for that one. It's free to watch. And uh, yeah, you might want to give that one a go, but today I'm going to show you how to make this fun pop-up slider gatefold card. Okay, so this is actually take two. I almost finished the card that I've done here <laughs> and then realized I hadn't hit record. So it's just one of those things. It doesn't happen too often, but it does happen every now and then. So I'm gonna start again. So I'm actually gonna have two cards at the end of this, which is fine. So you will want a piece of six by 12 for the main gatefold. So you just wanna score along the 12 inch side, you wanna score at three and at nine. Okay, and then we're going to fold and burnish those score lines. Just make sure it all lines up nicely in the centre, like so. Okay, then you will need this piece here for the belly bands. This is just a piece from that same 12 by 12 piece that I've cut everything from. And this is one and a half by 12. And we're just going to wrap that around towards the end. And then I've got all these mats and layers here. So... These ones here are actually using the mechanism, so we'll talk about that in a moment. But I've got these to cover the gatefold doors, okay? So the yellow is two and three quarters by five and three quarters, and then the pattern paper is two and a half by five and a half. So I've got the candle print there, and then I've got the star print. Now I have used, these are just papers that I had loose from in my stash of, 12, of six by six papers. But if you've got this one, which is my party paper pad. This stripe one here and the polka dot work brilliantly and it's very similar in terms of the colors to this one that I'm using because I run out. I've only got these ones and this one left and you can see how the stripes look, look really nice. So, but I'll show you the rest of that card when we get to it because I will end up decorating it during this video. So that's that one. And then you'll also want a larger matte layer You'll want to do this in white as well for the back so you've got somewhere to write your message but this is five and three quarters squared and I've got this yellow piece. Okay so that's all the measurements. Everything else is using my mechanism die. Okay so this is my slider die set. So I know lots of you have got this and I haven't shown the six by six square. I've shown the six by six circle which is now sold out. So many of you have bought that one. It's such a nice set and I've also got the five by seven which I've shared. I'll link the slider playlist here so you can have a look at the other ones within the collection but today I'm using the six by six so it's easy to see what's what everything that is an exact square is just your mats and layers these ones here so you'll see this one here is an obscure kind of shape that's the main mechanism for the slider and then this piece here is a rectangle it's not a square and it will sit nicely with this piece which is the mechanism so those two are your mechanisms everything that's square is 
exactly that, it's for your um, mats and layers. It also makes a Polaroid effect, so you can have photos and stuff in this, which is what that middle bit is there. But again, I'm going to show that in future videos, and um, I've got that in all the samples that I've um, shared with the kind of launch of the Super Sliders collection. So with this one here, I have die cut two in the yellow, and I've stuck them together because this yellow is more of a paper. It's about 140. It's it's quite lightweight, but I've just stuck two together because this is going to be my pull and push kind of piece, so it needs to be quite strong. So I've just put my Kalau to stick that together, so that's that's going to strengthen. It's just drying now. So. But if you're using it, that's now more of a 300 GSM. So if you have got a heavyweight cardstock, you just need to die cut that one once. And then with the mechanism, like all the mechanisms throughout the three of this slider style, you will have, they're all different sizes, but they will have a smaller rectangle, this middle rectangle, and then this top one. You always want to make sure the smaller one is facing you. You can see there. And basically it has a cut line on all three of these sides, apart from this one, which is a score line. This is a score line and this is a score line. So it just does all the cutting for you. This piece here is cut using the largest squares and that will give you your mat layer. I've gone ahead and cut that one. And then this one here and the finger pull die. So this will help us pull this piece out. We want to stick, just kind of tack into place. I'm just going to take some of the stickiness off of this here. So with this die, you want to bring it down until you've got about half an inch from the bottom here. And then just make sure you've got an even amount on each side there. It's about just under an inch. I'm just going to make sure those balloons are kind of even and I can go straight against them as well. And then whenever you're tacking your die in place, put your tape within this middle rectangle. And then if anything does kind of tear when you rip it away, this is the area that you're going to be covering with your you know, all your stamped images and so on. And then just another bit of sticky tape. And then the finger pull, I like to put at the top here and then just slide it down and it will catch on the top of the cardstock or the paper. And to get it into the center, it's about two inches from each side. In fact, that's spot on. That is bang on. I'm not even gonna move it. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just gonna tape that in place. And then I'm just gonna run all of that through my dye machine. Okay, so that one just falls away. I'll put that straight back so I don't want to lose that one. And then this one here, just carefully take that tape off. So now you can see we've got a score line, score line, and a score line. So this score line here, you just want to fold away from yourself so you create a valley fold. This score line here is then going to be a mountain. And then that last one will become a valley. And it will give you your slider. If I just bring it up, you can see so you've got your valley, mountain, and a valley, like that. Okay. This piece is then going to stick behind it, something like that, and then you'll pull that up and down. Okay. Next, we want to stamp our sentiment. So I've got this piece here, which I cut to five and three quarters squared. And you want to lay that in the middle, so you've got a nice even border. Okay, and then just kind of decide how high up you want this. I usually have it about halfway, so about there, quite happy with that. And then with a pencil, very lightly, just mark the four sides. Take that away and you can see now the area where you have to stamp your message. Now, because I'd already started that other card, I already have the stamps in my stamp platform in the right position. So, um, being lazy and not taking them off straight away has paid off today because now I know that they're going to line up perfectly as they did for the other one. So the stamps I'm using are from the Sentiment stamp set, which is the Let's Hear It For The Girls, which is also part of my collection. Now this one's sold out, it's been really popular, it's got some really nice sentiments in it. But if you do go on there and it's something you'd like to get your hands on, if you, um, you can drop your email next to the item and you can be informed of when it's back in stock so if you know if it's something you just want to be notified about when it does come back in then you can do that but you can use any sentiments i've got happy birthday shopaholic because obviously it's going to have those handbags and shoes and everything on it which i'll show you all in a moment so i'm just going to ink that up and stamp that down and i'm going to go in one more time just to get it nice and crisp 
So I'm just going to rub out those pencil marks. Okay, so now this can go back over the top and you'll see when that slides up, it's going to reveal our sentiment, our message. So with this piece now, flip it over and I'm going to use some of my red tape and you're going to pop it along the bottom of that mechanism. So just the bottom of that one there, that smallest section. And then you're also going to pop it, so you've got your finger pull at the top, you want to do the three sides here. Now what tape you use, you want to make sure it's a thin tape. I wouldn't go any thicker than this, and I'll show you why in a second, because you need to make sure that this piece here that we're going to pull out from here needs to have room to move up and down. So you need to give it that clearance. Okay, like so. This piece, the bottom of this is going to stick to the bottom of this piece, like so. So you see here, it needs that space to move up and down. So if you went any thicker with this tape, this one here is about a quarter of an inch. Um, I think these ones are sold in millimetres, so it's five or six, whatever one comes up, or a quarter of an inch. Anything smaller, you've got those um, one eighth of an inch ones, I think they're three mil, they would be really good as well. You can see there. So what I would suggest first of all is take the tape off of that piece, flip it over, and you want to bring, line up the bottom of this piece here with the bottom of that yellow card. And then make sure that you've got an even overhang, so I need to come over this way a little bit. About there. It's about three eighths of an inch overhanging. Again, make sure it's really flush with the bottom there. It's just shifted, let's just move that again. Like so, and then you can just flatten that down and stick it down. And that way you know it's lined up perfectly with the bottom there. And you can see now when we pull it up. Okay, next take the backing off of those other sides. And now you want to stick it over here. Now I'm going to start from the bottom and get an equal border and then kind of roll it up like so. Okay, and now when you pull it up, it reveals your message. Okay, so now we can bring in our gatefold and this is going to stick in here like so. And then I'm going to have the stars in here and then I'm going to have the candles on the front there. So I'm going to go and get this all stuck down. If you aren't doing the gatefold, this piece now you just stick onto the front of a 6x6 six six plain card blank. I'd have it top folding so it's in the tent style and um, you've got your card you know, ready to decorate and that's how I've done them with the circle one. I think having them in the tent fold looks really nice with this particular style. Don't get glue on this bit, just make sure you stay within that square. Okay, so that is now all stuck down, and you can see again there how it looks when it's all open. It looks really nice. I'm gonna probably put some bits and pieces on there as well, but I'm now gonna go over to this one, because this is the one with the stripe paper, and I only had a few of these sheets left, and I really like the stripe with these colors, because I actually colored all these with this, and I know the same colours run with run throughout, but this was the one I started with. So a couple of things that I've done with this one, which you may want to do with this one. Now you'll see here this overhangs, which is fine because this card doesn't have an envelope. This is the envelope. You know, the, you wrap it up with the belly band, and that's how you would give it to somebody. So if you want to trim it down, you can. If you do want to put it in an envelope, that's how it will look trimmed down. Now also the pull that I have here. We have a pull stamp in this sentiment, but because this is sold out, I've just been writing it in. So just to show you how it, you know, you can do it that way, you know, and it still looks nice. So I'm just going to write in here. So that's that one ready for me to decorate with whatever's left over, but now I want to focus on this one. So in that die set, you do have mats and layers that you can pop onto this piece and then build on top of that. But I'm going to go straight in and actually stick my elements onto here. Now all of these, all of these are from this stamp set, which is part of the new collection. It's the shoes and bags and you've got dies that you can purchase with them as well if you want to. The glasses is from the, the main die set. So just here, you've got your glasses. And I've done the XOXO, which is also the die there. I've done the little 
heart with the wings which is here and I've done some of the stars as well just to kind of add in and then I might do that and decorate something on the sides but I can do all of that afterwards so I have quite a few bits here so I, you know hopefully I have got enough to do both but um, I'm going to lay this down flat and you want to stick actually before I do that let me just pull it back up again you're only sticking everything on this one rectangular piece here. Don't stick anything on here, nothing on the back. It has to all be on there because otherwise it won't open and close. Okay, so just make sure that you keep it within that bit there. So with that being said, I can lay it down now because I know what I'm sticking to. And I'm just going to start kind of placing stuff down, first of all. And you can go quite high as well. Um, you know, you can go as high as the card because you've got so much space. And then possibly going to have that maybe behind just sit, sit in there um, let's have this yellow bag maybe like so we've got this one here it says let's go shopping because obviously it's a shopaholic so I think that one would be quite good let's get some blue in let's do a blue bag can go in behind there as well maybe have the glasses a bit more like so but you can see what I'm trying to do, I just really want to build up a nice little pop-up feature. So I'm going to carry on doing that and may well actually stick some of these. I think would look nice either side like that. And I may well have the XOXO and maybe that one there. I don't know, I'm going to play around and um, I'll be back when it's all finished. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. You can see I've created that little scene there, I really like it. I think it's lots of fun and I've just put the handbag on each side. And then you've got the space here to write more or stamp more messages on and I did do the circle slider card. Instead of having double sided tape here, I put foam tape so it was lifted and it allowed you to put a gift card inside. So if you wanted to do this as a gift card holder you can. You could probably still do it with this here but it's going to be once they have maybe opened it and then they go to put it back down again they might catch it which is why it was good to put the foam in there but you know give it a go you know what you've got and if it's going to work you can try that. So I'm going to now finish off with the belly band. So with this one here yours is just flat we don't do any score lines sit it in the middle and just wrap them around like so. Okay, now if you want to join it together with a circle or something, you can, but I'm actually going to join it together with the shoes, and then I'm going to build up some more of the handbags. I might put a little sentiment on here as well. I enjoy your day or something. The XOXO, see what I'm doing there, and that will just create your closure. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue that side and that side. You want to make sure that you can still slide it on and off so don't have it so tight just nice around the the card there. So I'm going to finish off the front now I've got some bows like I said I'm going to probably add another little sentiment in there and um, I'm going to also just cut a white piece for the back and stamp something on the back of that as well. Okay so there is the finished card that's the belly band all decorated which I think looks great and I've just added glamorous friend and then you just slide it off open it up and you have this inside here. I love the handbags. And you can see how good that all looks and then you just pull and then that will pop up. And then if you do want to put a gift card or you can you know have a hidden message there or something it's entirely up to you but I'll keep that until I know who I'm giving this to. So if they want they can have it displayed like so and obviously just keep the belly band nearby or they can close it and then it can still be displayed like this with the belly band. Okay, so you know they've got the option there. That one now I'm going to go and colour and die cut some more of the stamped images because now I know how many I'll need. I can you know get all that ready and I'll share photos of that as and when. And then I just sort of bring that one back in again so you can see other card styles using those exact same stamps. And um, that's using the papers from that party pad that I showed you as well. So you can see how well they all match. But I think they look great, you know, and um, they're so versatile to use across lots of different card shapes and styles. So I'll share the link to that one for you. I'll share the links to everything that I've used as always in the description box. And thank you for watching. So I'll be back again soon. I will link up here some other slider cards and just fun cards that I think you might like. And also you'll see my face just here. If you haven't subscribed, if you click on that, you'll be able to subscribe to the channel. If you click the notification bell it will notify you every time I upload a new tutorial. So thanks again for watching and I'll be back again very soon. Bye!